Tottenham can't lose Antonio Conte at the end of the season. They simply can't do it. It's something that they don't have to accept. Uh, they have to give him what he wants. It's not just about money, because Antonio Conte always had great contracts, but he deserves, because he, he does an incredible job for the club. Hey guys, welcome back on my channel from Fabrizio Romano, as always here to discuss football, insights, transfers, but together today, guys, to discuss about this man, Antonio Conte, if you are following me, you know I am one of the biggest fans of Antonio Conte in the world. I read him as one of the best managers in the world. He is simply incredible and the job he's doing with Tottenham is something special. So let's jump into it together. So let me start, guys, saying that all the rumors you are hearing around Antonio Conte and Paris Saint-Germain, I already stated this, but it's important to clarify, are not coming from Antonio's camp. Antonio is totally focused on Tottenham. Antonio is dreaming of this Champions League spot for the Spurs because he knows that he wants to win titles. We know how ambitious is Conte in public, in private. He only wants to win, win, win. He's obsessed in a positive way with winning. But at the same time, uh, we also know how important it is for him to get this Champions League spot because for him it would be like a title. We have to remember what Antonio Conte did for Tottenham. It's something incredible. He arrived at the beginning of November in a really complicated situation with Nuno Espirito Santo, who had no feeling with the team. Uh, the situation was really difficult in the table, so the expectation was really poor around Tottenham, the situation was terrible, uh, even the atmosphere at the training ground was not the best one, obviously, when top clubs are not performing, but Antonio changed everything. Let me mention the director of football, Fabio Paratici, the Italian one, who did a masterpiece to convince Antonio Conte, because it was more than complicated to appoint Antonio Conte for Tottenham, he was an option for Manchester United, but they, from Man United, were not interested in Conte, even if uh, it was an option to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, they wanted to go with Dragnik, and then in the summer with Eric Ten Hag. So Conte was not an option on Man United side, but Antonio say yes to Tottenham because of Fabio Paratici. He's the man that changed everything behind the scenes, convincing Antonio. It was a masterpiece because Conte is one of few managers available who is able to do something like that. He completely changed Tottenham approach on the pitch, off the pitch, in the dressing room, in the relationship with the players, in the ambition for the future. I'm told that in the dressing room, all the players love him, love his methods, because he wants the winning mentality in every single detail of the club. It means on the pitch, of course, but it means from the board, from the owners, uh, it means uh, the ambition in every single training session, the relationship he has with the players. Harry Kane, I mention him because I'm convinced that the future of Harry Kane could be really important to understand the future of Antonio Conte. Because, of course, Tottenham will do their best to keep Harry Kane. Now Manchester City signed Erling Gallant, so they don't have any problem with strikers. Let's see what happens with other clubs. But for Harry Kane, it's important to see the ambition. But let me say, for Antonio Conte, it's really important to see the ambition. And they have a fantastic relationship. Harry Kane loves Conte. Conte loves Harry Kane. So they always speak every single day. Antonio told him a few months ago that he wants to continue with him as a key player for Tottenham and so one of the requests that Antonio Conte will do at the end of the season to Daniel Levy because they will have a meeting at the end of the season will be to keep Harry Kane at the club and for Antonio Conte is the first message to show the ambition the winning mentality of Tottenham they already did it last summer with Fabio Paratici and Daniel Levy and Nuno as a manager but it was a masterpiece from the board let me say now for them it's really important to confirm Antonio Conte let me say my opinion guys even in this video Tottenham can't lose Antonio Conte at the end of the season. They simply can't do it. It's something that they don't have to accept. Uh, they have to give him what he wants. It's not just about money, because Antonio Conte always had great contracts, but he deserves, because he, he does an incredible job for the club. Uh, he's working on every single detail of the club. He's not just on the pitch with his three-back defense, but he's also in the relationship with the players, in the atmosphere of the dressing room. Everything he's doing is rebuilding, and this is something that was really needed at Tottenham. But now, the relationship he also has with the fans at the stadium, you can feel something special around Tottenham. The performance with Arsenal was amazing, but it's not the only one. Everything has changed at Tottenham, thanks to Antonio Conte. And thanks to Paratici, who is the man who brought him at Tottenham and appointed him, who did this masterpiece. So, Antonio is the man. Tottenham 
can't lose Antonio. What's going to happen? At the end of the season, meeting Antonio Conte with Daniel Levy, they will decide together. Antonio wants to see the ambition in the new signings, wants to see many players joining Tottenham in the summer, wants Harry Kane to stay. So there are many points to touch together to see if Antonio Conte will continue uh, as Tottenham manager or not. But now he's only focusing on the uh, goal, on the opportunity to play Champions League football for Tottenham. It's like a title for him, so he's only focusing on that. And then at the end of the season, we have to wait a few, a few days and then we will know what Antonio wants to do in this direct meeting with Tottenham to understand his future. But let me say, Spurs can't lose Antonio Conte or they will need to restart and restart again. And so Antonio is too important for Tottenham. And let me say, he's an incredible manager. So as I already said in November, here on the channel, when they appointed him, let me say again, congrats to Tottenham because having Antonio Conte is something special. And congrats to Antonio Conte because this manager is incredible, no matter what happens in this amazing Champions League race with Arsenal, still uh, with one point more and still leading this race. And they deserve because they're doing a fantastic job too. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Antonio Conte situation, Antonio Conte story around Tottenham. I wait for your comments here. Should Tottenham keep Antonio Conte or what do you think about his transfer request for the summer? So I wait for your opinions, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel, guys, because we have many things coming uh, in the next few days with many news. Remember to turn on the notification bell, like this video and see you soon with Fabrizio.